Backyard Farm and I want to talk to you about tools for crocheting. But before I get started, I want to show you what's around my neck. This is a granny square blanket that I did not finish. And I kind of ran out of the yarn, but I could possibly finish it. But, oops, and again, <laughs> and again, here is Mr. Kitty. You have to, if you're going to crochet, you have to have a cat. But um, I didn't finish it, but what I can do with something like this is take it out. I live on a backyard farm, so I could use it like it's a headscarf for the barn. So I kind of kept it around because I figured when it gets really cold, I can run out to the barn with it. So don't throw your old projects away because you can either finish them, make them into something else, or use them for another useful purpose. And that works out perfect for that. Okay, with that, let's talk about tools that you can use to get started in crocheting. You really don't need a whole lot of things, but I'll show you what I use to give you some ideas, or if you are already a crocheter, this will help you give you some ideas of maybe some things you aren't using. And please, in the comments below, let me know if you're a crocheter or a knitter, and um, or if you'd like to learn one or the other, or what other, other crafts, craft that you do. I'd like to hear what you do. Okay, first things first. Tablet. There's lots and lots of free pro, uh, free patterns online. So you want to have a little tablet or your phone or your YouTube up, it, you know, because, you know, there's lots and lots of free patterns out there. Different types of yarn. Now I showed some of these in my knitting video, but I want to show them to you here as well. The scrubby yarn that's out at Walmart. I use baby yarn a lot because you can get a lot of it for really cheap. They just dropped the needle. <laughs> Red Heart acrylic yarn, same reason, you can get a lot of it for cheap. It's great for like you're trying out a new pattern, you're not sure how to do something. Plus it holds the, it will hold your color good and things like that. Now if you want to get a little fancy, you can buy some of the fancier yarns. Then they can go anywhere from, you know, like a dollar to 80 bucks when you get into the expensive yarns. Now, whoops. I dropped my hook, which I wanted to show you, but it's on the ground. But you've all seen those anyway. They're the Susan Bate aluminum needles. Those are one of my favorite for like the metal needles. I also like to use the wooden needles, which you can get almost any needle at Walmart, super, super cheap. Um, and I like to have all the different sizes. And when I go out to Walmart or a craft store, I usually like to pick up a couple extra needles because I do my projects and I stick them in project bags. Now this is my fancy dancy project bag that I got from, let me make sure I say the name correctly, Beautiful Bags, etc., etc. because this is nice if I want to go to church, maybe I want to crochet on the way to church, or I go to my mother's. Most of the places that we, let, we go, it takes about an hour to get there because we live on a backyard farm, so I like to have like a little cute little purse I bring with me, so I, you know, look like I'm a little dressy. But those are some things. I like to have like little, cute little gadget things to make, so if I'm crocheting a purse for a child or something, I have something cute to add on. Scissor sharpeners. And I suggest the little tiny pointed scissors. Let me see if it's, I have a pair on my desk here. I like this size because they're not so big and can just do like little clips. But you know, most of the stuff you can get at Walmart. I mean, you can buy fancier stuff, but I'm just trying to get you started. So I don't want you to get like really super expensive. You can even go to like, if you're in New York, the Dollar Tree has lots of um, yarn and supplies there too that you can get for like a ball of yarn for a buck if you want to get started. Stitch markers, which are great. I don't usually use a lot of them, but I can if I need to. And um, also, a flower maker. So if I feel like I want to try something a little bit different, like this, like just a little loom knitter, but you can basically you can make a flower with it. It's this is actually the flower knitter, but it's the same thing as the loom knitters, if you can see. Same, same thing. <laughs> but like I said, I always have to have extra needles, and you want to have them in all different sizes for when you make projects. Pattern books are great. I do like to use a lot of pattern books when I crochet because I get bored and I always want to try something new. But I 
sometimes I just like to crochet, 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 and use the good old faithful stitches that I know. But if you have never crocheted or would like to learn how to crochet, you know, step on board. I want to be showing more of those types of videos on my channel. Basically, everything that we do, I like to share my channel for raising quail, chicken. So we have a big variety of stuff. But if you have never learned to crochet, you know, jump on board. I'm going to try to show you some of the things that I do to keep myself busy when I'm not working on the farm or our little backyard farm or not doing my PR work or need a break. You know, I crochet every single day. It's so relaxing. It's so peaceful and relaxing. I usually will pop on a YouTube video and then go to town, and that's my downtime. And now also, too, if you don't have stitch markers, too, you can use clothespins or safety pens. You may want to have a magnifying glass. Whoops, I'm dropping things like here like crazy. Oh, well, my cat comes over and he jumps out everywhere I am, so it starts to dust everything. But anyway, I use these, like, little dollar, you know, glasses I get from the dollar store and I use them for magnifying glasses and they work out great for me. So those are just a few of the tools that I use. Some of my thoughts on crocheting, but the main thing is just get out there and start making stuff. If you're, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna make some good things, you're gonna make some lousy things. I don't think care how long you've been doing crocheting. It's always, there's always different things that happen. So, you know, just, you know step out, start having some fun and uh, you know, learn a new skill. And if you already crochet, you know, learn some more skills or pop up a level and learn some more stitches and things like that. And um, with that, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.